Okay, so I had a 110 on this little trail right here. And it's gone, but it's sitting right there. So uh, we'll get it pulled over and uh, see what we got. Apparently I didn't get that wedged into the mud, the mud good enough. So yeah, let's go get that trap. All right, well, looks like it wasn't that uh, I didn't get it wedged in there good enough. It looks like something pulled it out of the hole, drug it over there and ate on it a little bit. So we'll get this set remade and uh, yeah, another rat to count, but he's probably not gonna make the first hit. So, all right, let's get down, let's get down right. the line. So we don't have anything in that 110 and that one and a half is untouched. I don't know if you can see it or not. So we'll get moved down and get the rest of them checked. I think a muskrat might have eaten that, that or a, a mink might have eaten that muskrat. But there's also feral cats in this area too. So uh, yeah. Right, so down. that 110 is untouched. Looks like that mink box over there is untouched. And this one is untouched as well. So I got two more sets on this property and then we're gonna head over to the other property and the little stretch of public ground I got right there. And then um, we will uh, head over to the first sale and hopefully I'll be able to do my first live over there. Um, we'll see how everything goes. Got the two 110s on the culvert right here. And it looks like we had a large influx of water come through here. So the I'm guessing the farmer must have pushed a bunch of water through. So we're going to have to get these guys reset. Um, and yeah, so we'll move on down. All right, so we're at the, my caster mound that I replaced that, um, I replaced that one or the 650 with the Duke or the Duke 850 with the Duke 650. And, uh, we got a rat in this one. Um, I do have a bunch of, I don't know if you can see, there's a bunch of coon tracks um all around this little area so we'll get this one reset and get that rat out and i already looked at the 220 it hasn't been it hasn't been moved so that's a good thing that was the first that's the first time that that trap hasn't been set off um when we came out whether it had something or whether it didn't have anything so um anyways we'll get this guy out and get him reset get it reset and move on down. We're gonna go check those uh, the caster mound beaver sets I got, or not caster mound, the banked in sets I got with my 330s, and uh, I might potentially pull those ones today. Um, I just don't think there's anything in that using that bank lodge. So, all right, get back. So with my you. one and a half I got right here. I wasn't able to get it up on that uh, on that mound. But um, it doesn't have anything. There's a few fresh coon tracks around it, so I just missed a coon. And then I already went across and checked that 160, that new 160 I put in over there. And it's in that little tiny hole right there. Um, there's nothing in that one. Uh, it was tripped, and but just didn't have anything. So I reset it and uh, we're gonna move on down here. Um, the one I have over there, I can't see. So we'll get across and see what we got, if we got anything. Uh, I 
think I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. It's still sitting in there undisturbed. So I'll check the 110 we got over here. And I moved that colony trap down just a little bit. I found another spot. Um, it wasn't too far from where that one hole was, but it had some act it had some good sign on it. So um, we'll see. All right, so. 110 is empty. There's a new hole right there. This colony trap is empty. And looks like that one is empty as well. Um, so no more rats in this area. So we'll give it one more check on these. And uh, if I don't have anything, I will go ahead and pull. Um, yeah. So we'll move on down. Uh, next set is, our next sets are that, the beaver sets in the... Um, in that bank lodge, so uh, we'll probably end up pulling those ones today, but we'll see. All right, see you in a second. All right, so I already checked the others. I didn't have anything in there. Um, although I would say that the beavers didn't like the fact that I had a 330 sitting there. They shoved that thing plumb full of sticks buried it so um we're gonna we're still gonna pull this one um i do have that other set on the other side of the river uh the other side of the creek and uh we're just gonna rock that little caster mound and hopefully we'll be able to connect with one but uh yeah they didn't like that that 330 sitting there all right we'll move all on. right well if i could ever keep the rats out of my beaver set maybe one of these days i'll catch one here um this is the caster mound that i have that's just across the river from where that bank lodge is um i'm pretty sure that those beavers are highly educated uh the beaver the the guy the landowner told me he did have somebody in here trapping a long time ago or a few years ago and uh they did manage to catch a few beavers, but not a lot. So my thinking is that uh, that get the guy who was here before me um, educated him. So we're going to have to try something else. I think what I'm going to do, um, that 110 is empty. Looks like something got around it. So... We'll get that one reset but what i'm going to do is i'm going to set a few drowning sets um on a few of these runs and see if i can't pick them up from there it's really hard with this creek it's so wide and it's so shallow uh not a lot of good spots to drown the beavers so but we'll get this uh 110 reset get that rat out of that beaver set and get it reset and then um move on to our public ground and after I get done with the public ground, we're headed to the first sale. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing a live at the first sale. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so there's some people over by where I parked. So I skipped my first couple sets. Um, we're back at my mink box. And 
there's nothing in it. Next one's my 220 in the caster mount set. And uh, we'll get those checked and move on down the line. Alright, so the 220 is completely empty. My caster mount set is empty. There's nothing in it. But I have a bunch of muskrat tracks around it. And my caster is actually completely gone. It looks like there's some deer tracks, but I can't confirm that. So we'll get it... Uh, We'll get this one recastered and I'm gonna move the trap over just a hair and up a little bit and uh, we'll move on down. Arizona. Arizona. <clears throat> Look at all them boxes. boxes. Arizona. These things are really cool little kit foxes. Missing his tail. <clears throat> These guys are Colorado. These things are cool, Cuda Mundi. They came from Arizona with a tail. Pretty cat. Montana. More ones, more of them here. Fishers. We've got skin for wall hangers. Martin. New York. Fishers. 
Utah, Colorado, pretty back on that guy. <clears throat> really like the tips on this one. That's a pretty cat. That's a big cat. He's got to be like four feet long. Idaho cat. He's got feet on. <clears throat> Skunks. Hey, hey, folks. Hold that. Just hold tight a second. When George will be over here in a second, he's, he's adding extra zeros on the bids over there. So if, I, <laughs> if I pull him away, he's not bidding on stuff. So. He said, he said, give him a minute and come over, and you'll be over. Oh. Utah. Big 
big old giant murders. I think it's huge. Utah cat, that's a nice belly. Not a lot of spots, but pretty white color. Uh, <clears throat> the ones I knocked off. Good looking cats though. Really light. Utah. Big Utah cat. <laughs> All of them freaking grays, those are really pretty. The slot is sixty two. There's a cross box. Hey guys, let's reconvene at four thirty. Four thirty is <coughs> when we're gonna reconvene, so he's gonna tally up some more bits and he'll be over at four thirty. They're gonna do a live auction. <coughs> That's what they're talking about now. If you guys one bid in the live auction, come over here and get your bid or not. Oregon, there's some Oregon ones. Oregon. My coyote's over here. <clears throat> Walked right past it. This one's mine. Big male, I got on Christmas Day. Not the greatest one, but I'm happy. Start at the end. Big cap, feet left on. Idaho. Big old giant badger. Feet left on. This is 
pretty cool. They wanted them all marked. This guy used tinsel for all his Martins. <coughs> 160 Martins there. More Utah cats. Tons and tons of buttons. Idaho. Idaho. Be one about this is old for one guy. Nice batter paint and everything else going. Idaho cats. Okay, still got it here, y'all. Pretty foxes. Those things. My phone doesn't do those colors good. <clears throat> Coyotes here. Got these. I wanted to do some of my rats like this, but I didn't get a chance to. Round stretch them. They sell pretty well. Last sell, I think they got like $7 a piece for them. So much people did a bunch of them. So, all these rats. Tag 180 rats. 76 round rats. 
Yeah, people did a bunch of these. Six in this one, 86 in that one. Just big old bag of things. Like how they did the legs on these. I don't know what they used, but looks like it was something like a zip tie or some string around it, and then cut it off after it was dry. Seven rats. Bunch of otters. Some more coons. Some mink. Man, those look good. Big old huge lot of rats. Three hundred and five rats. More coons. Bye. Square stretch coons. <laughs> Funky looking things. We're gonna hear that. I want you to know a couple of things. First of all, I'm trying to get as much money as I can, but I'm gonna sell a little fasting this year. And I've been tired. A lot of kids to look at, and I'm not gonna stand here too long for you. More beavers. And I want to tell you all I want you guys. 481 rounds. Yeah, you get a number for the auction if you need to. I want to tell you guys a little bit about the firm. This box, this box, this box, and this China box. And, and I think you should pay attention and listen. <laughs> there's not much of a kind of park in it. It's going down steadily. Okay? There's nothing we can do about it. The buyers, we all want to grab the buyers. Fisher Coons. Black Coons. The public in China is, they've got everything locked in. Unlike this country, when they tell you to stay home, they need to stay home. Whether you're buying the Huge industry, or whether you're here. working at a factory to manufacture, or whether you're working at a pan market. And so, you all got to realize that 
Of the good cats end up in Ukraine. Nobody in Ukraine is buying their wife a cat coat. They're ducking bullets. And nobody in Russia can get goods in. They can't get your cats into Russia. They can't get the money out of Russia. And the rubles drop down to, to nothing. And so it's very, very shaky. Guys like myself and all these other buyers who want to buy a five-dollar wildcat and one hundred and fifty to sell it. When your cats are bought in seven degrees, they're in the not all of them, but lots of them end up in the Ukraine. There's seven canneries in Ukraine. Well, now we have seven canneries in Ukraine around. that aren't working. They're they're not doing anything but hide from Russians and shoot back. So it's just a thought for all you guys to realize that that war has a lot to do with your cats. It might be. And COVID has a lot to do with the. Uh, China, COVID in China has a lot to do with your coyote market. It is what it is. Everybody's here, all these buyers, trying to do the best they can, but it's going to be a tough day. I, I'm telling you, it's not going to be as a, a bright day tomorrow when you guys list the prices on coyotes. And some of the prices on cats, so just a word for all of you, okay? Which I've heard several times. I don't know. Where I want to go. If they're going down. Where are you going? Well, Listen, you're so representative here. You got Grunewalds here with two guys from Greece, and got Archer Ellen Steele from Utah is working with you. You got Ryan Custis and Chris from Wyoming. They're here trying to buy goods. You got Jake in Boise has got a good contact with a with a Greek in Canada and a couple of Russians. I've been buying cats and good cats for the last 12, 15 years. And and, and you got Bruce Farto, you got Gary Schroeder, you got lots of people buying stuff to sell in lots of places. There ain't nowhere else to go. If there's somewhere else to go out there to come selling this stuff, come and tell me because I want to take my 10,000 cats that I have bought starting out on a $60 basis in my shop right now that I can't sell. And I want to take them down to wherever you guys are going down the road to, okay? So, anyway, are we ready? We're we going to sell some stuff. I'm going to sell a little faster. I, I'm not going to take as long. So get your cards up, put your hands up, and it's for a good cause. One more thing I want to say is, I don't know how you feel about anything, but if anybody can donate something to the Ukrainian people, they should. It's heartbreaking. You ready? Some big otters. So there's six. some more fur in there too. I'm just going to walk off a little way from that live auction they're doing. Uh, here's some of the other items they offer in too. Uh, looks like some chains, some links, just like some generic trapping supplies. Traps, hold traps, big old box of flake wax. That's a good deal. Six 25 pound bags, trap wax. Spankers. Like antifreeze. More traps. Three quarters. Two twenties. Dozen rat stretchers brand new in the box. Colony traps. I might put a bit on those because I, I wouldn't mind having some smaller ones. Wolf drags, old used, old. I might put a bit on that because I want a couple of those for my decoration.
box duke one and a half, some jump traps, a box two twenties, box more some more muskrat traps, four three thirties, more long springs. Looks like thirty two rat stretchers. Uh, MB750 wolf traps. These are all wolfed out. Reinforced jaws, reinforced chains, welded. Like a dozen. Six. MB750s. Yeah, there's a dozen of them there. Hello. Okay. So over here they got the skulls and the horns. You know what, John? Give me money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend it. <laughs> Moose horns, muley horns, elk horns, elk horns, muley horns. A unique looking little buck. There's some pronghorn horns in there. More elk sheds. There's a really nice set right here. Brown set. I think they're trying to sell this as a set. This is a really nice, really nice elk set. More mealy horns. And then this is like the oddball stuff, caster. Skulls, things like that. Porky hair, some of the porky hairs in here. These are all mine skulls. Caster, more mine. Looks like they got pheasant feathers, pheasant fans. Backyard, penis bones. Box coyote skulls raw. That's eleven and a half pounds of caster. One point oh five pounds of caster. Fifteen ounces beaver tails. That is beaver oil sacks. Coon skulls raw. Rat skulls raw, otter skulls raw. These are beaver skulls raw. Two boxes. Bobcat feet hole. More coyote skulls. 19 pounds of gaster. This one's 20. And we got buffalo skulls, some old mounts, elk ivory, miscellaneous random teeth. These are the skull. That's really cool. That's the skull from that Cuda Monday. There's two of them in there. Oh, it's only one. Buds. We got 
The bear skull, the wolf skull, the box of beaver skulls, tan mountain lion. Oh, no, not tan, it's raw. I got it raw. More buffalo. The beaver skulls, box skulls, lion skulls. Bobcats, badger feet, six point six pound caster, <laughs> there you go, skunk essence, a lot of skunk juice. Mink, muskrat maybe, or mink and bargain. Muskrats. Skunk essence. I think we're twenty five years. Oh, I got some cool little mounts down here. Looks like two Gims buck, two and three roe deer. It's kind of cool. Some rabbits. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go back inside and get the rest of the fur taken a look at. Alright, so they're done with the auction. Some cool coons. They did them fur side out. It's kind of cool. Skunks for a side out. More crosswalks. Oh, cool. More cats. Look at that, a lot of cats. It's crazy. There's two Martin buried underneath them. That's a Nevada cat. Pretty fox. There's just really cool silver coyote over here. I think. Hopefully they didn't sell it. Some of the, the fur items are selling. Girl for a teddy bear.
The silver fox, the silver coyote. That's a super light dog. Two skin beaver. Red skunks. Possum. Yeah. 